Many people, as part of their New Year's resolution, decided to eat breakfast every morning, and that is fantastic. But it's very important to have good protein be a part of your breakfast. It turns out that if you include fiber and protein in your breakfast, then you're going to have more mental focus. You're going to have a, a higher metabolism, and you're going to have energy that's going to last you through the through the the morning and get you to breakfast so very important to have that protein and fiber but what are some of these good proteins for breakfast so think about things like eggs eggs are usually what we think about for protein for breakfast so getting a, a big bunch of hard-boiled eggs cooked up on the weekend and you just peel and run with those during the week there's uh, breakfast um, breakfast proteins like um, cold cuts cold turkey and ham, Canadian bacon. And then there's dairy, low-fat dairy like 2% milk or string cheese. You can take Greek yogurt and put it on your cereal or on your um, oatmeal. So the key thing, if you look at some of the proteins like, um, like sausage and bacon, they've got a little too much fat, too much of the saturated fat. And although they're probably better than no protein in breakfast, you don't want to do too much of them because those, uh, those, those fats can clog your arteries. Remember, each morning, eat breakfast. Don't skip your breakfast. Have a good protein as a part of that breakfast. And then pick proteins that are lean or, if they have fat, that they're, that they're low in the saturated bad fats. That's a minute for health.